What's cooking everybody? Dave Altizer here with Kinotika and today we are talking about the best Canon camera. My favorite Canon camera is the 1DC. A lot of people don't know about this camera. It's an older camera. It was actually announced in 2012. And to this day, I still believe that the image quality coming off of the 1DC really holds up to even the most modern cinema cameras available. Oh, the, the 1DC? Dave? Really? What are you, a fan of dinosaurs? Yeah, Dur dinosaurs are cool. Ah, but they're going ex Dude, oh, what are you doing here? How are you even in this video anyway? I just asked YouTube nicely because I'm Canadian. They let me in here, you... Ah. What's cooking, you guys? Justin here from Kinotika. Today I'm here to tell you why the best Canon camera is this. The Canon EOS M50. Oh, nice. This camera has a flip-out screen? Don't. Brandon Washington, what are you doing on this video? I'm here to tell you why the Canon 1DX Mark II is actually the best Canon camera. But you're so tiny. Well then just like, punch in. There, that, that's much better. All right, so the reason why I say that the Canon 1DX Mark II is actually the best Canon camera you can get is because when it comes to buying an amazing camera, obviously the first thing you wanna look at is image quality. Image quality is by far the most important and you shouldn't put a dollar amount limitation when you're looking at image quality. The second reason why I really love the 1DX Mark II is because it is the perfect hybrid of photography and video. In my opinion, there's no better camera that gives you amazing autofocus for both video and photo, that gives you amazing video quality with that 4K at 60 frames per second, along with that 1080 at 120 frames per second, and then just the phenomenal photography that you get out of this camera. I mean, by far, in my opinion, I think the 1DX Mark II is the best way to go. Sure, yeah, it's expensive, but when has anything amazing ever been cheap? Ah, but can your camera do this? Now that guy's gone. Let me tell you why this is the best camera. This is the best 1080p video I have seen from Canon to date in a tiny little small package. Plus you're getting basically full frame dual pixel autofocus coverage, a mic input jack, a proper swiveling out selfie style screen. You've got 4K time lapses built in here. If you set it on a tripod, you got manual focus. The 4K in here is actually stunning. Plus you've got digital image stabilization. You've got all sorts of different modes, a nice touch screen, customizations. There is so much and the price on it is basically free, especially when you're comparing it to the 6D Mark II or even a 5D Mark IV. There are so many things that this is doing shot for shot, but it fits in your pocket. No giant lenses, no giant cameras. Overall, it is just amazing. And that is why this is the best camera. <laughs> Man, those guys are crazy. They did have some good points, but they're crazy. Overall, the Canon 1DC is still one of the best cinema video cameras from Canon to this day. So I'm gonna list off a few points to why I think the 1DC is the best Canon camera. Number one, image quality mojo. I've compared it to other cameras like the C300 Mark II even, one of the top of the line Canon cinema cameras that costs up to $10,000. I still find that the image quality on the 1DC is amazing. The 4K quality on the 1DC is amazing because it's an 8-bit 422 codec. Most cameras shoot a 420 codec when they're shooting 4K, especially on the consumer line and on stills cameras. Now, that extra two doesn't seem like a huge difference, but it's a huge difference when it comes to the color information that is captured on the camera. In the 4K mode, there is a slight crop on full frame, unfortunately. The crop on 4K is a 1.3X crop, so it's not completely an APS-C or Super 35 crop. It's a little bit larger than that, but it's not full frame, unfortunately. But that does lead me to my my second point, Super 35 mode. On this camera, you can shoot a variety of different settings. You can shoot in full frame, which is a 1080p image that basically looks like a 2012 Canon DSLR. It shoots 4K in Motion JPEG, which we're shooting on right now. Motion JPEG has gotten a bad rap because it's such a massive file size. It's hard to play on your computer. 
but we convert all of our footage to ProRes LT and that shaves our file size into a third and it plays on our computers fine. But the Super 35 mode on this camera can be selected and it's only 1080p and it's not a 422 codec anymore. It goes down to a 4208 bit but it's a really sharp image and it's really clean. In fact, I compared it to a C100 and I found that the image quality in the Super 35 mode is very, very similar to a C100. This camera has Canon log built into it. So if you're shooting on a array of other cinema cameras from Canon, you can switch to that Super 35 mode and shoot next to a C300 or a C200 and it matches perfectly. So if you're in a pinch and you don't wanna shoot in motion JPEG and eat up a bunch of cards, you can switch to Super 35 mode and it looks way better than the full frame 1080p mode and still looks better than most modern Canon DSLRs in terms of 1080p sharpness and image quality. My third favorite thing about the 1DC is the fact that it is an amazing stills camera. In fact, up until the 1DX Mark II, it was the best stills camera that Canon offered because it's in the 1D series, which is always the flagship series from Canon. So basically this camera is essentially a 1DX Mark I with the ability to shoot 4K with Canon Log and of course the Super 35 mode. The sensor on this is an 18 megapixel full frame sensor. The dynamic range and the low light performance is still very amazing to this day, even though it's a 2012 camera. Number four, this thing is a tank. And when I say tank, I mean a freaking workhorse. The build quality on the 1DC, again, is that of a flagship from Canon, which means that it's fully weather sealed and can go into sub-zero temperatures. I've taken this camera to Alaska. It was like negative 30 degrees and it was working like a champ. I was using the camera wearing gloves and I still was able to push all the buttons. Everything worked perfectly. I've also taken this camera to Mexico and have done shoots in the middle of the jungle, sweating my butt off, being in the lake, filming in the water with my hands getting water on the camera, just sweating all over the camera. This camera also has two CF card slots. The slot on it is just really rugged and you can even see the weather sealing on the slot when you change the CF cards. Not to mention you also have a much larger battery. So the battery life is a lot better than other DSLRs. The fifth reason that I love this camera is the price. Now, if I were talking about this camera just a couple of years ago, the price would be one of the downsides of this camera. In fact, when this camera was first released, it was $12,000. I bought this camera used two years ago for $3,900. You can now buy one used on eBay for around $3,000 to $3,500. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to Kinotika. We post every Tuesday and Thursday. And follow us on Instagram. We're new on Instagram. Well, sort of. We had an account and then it, we lost the password. Anyways. Long story short, follow us on Kinotika TV on Instagram. We'll be posting stories and pictures there, and that's just a good place to communicate to us. Also, if you guys completely disagree with me on the 1DC, let me know below in the comments section. Do you think that the M50 is better like Justin or the 1DX2 or what about like the 80D or 5D4? What Canon camera do you guys use and which one do you prefer? Once again, I'm Dave Altizer. This is Kinatika. See you next time.